It's driven by illness. So alcohol, alcoholism is an illness. The un, un, unsettled mental health underneath alcoholism is an illness. Um, and if someone could stop drinking just like that, they would stop drinking just like that for the most part, you would think. But when it's, your, when it's what makes you feel good versus feeling lousy, I'm talking about people that aren't just having a rough day at, at work. I'm talking about people who want to end their life, who want to just stay in bed and not get out, who just have had enough, who just can't handle the pain, the anguish, the sorrow, the, the regret, the remorse, all the guilt, so all the depression. So that all creates depression, right? And then on the other hand, they're all freaked out about tomorrow and what's going to be on the next day and the next day and the next day. So that creates anxiety. So you're living with this horrible anxiety and depression all day, off and on, all day, every day. Um, take away their alcohol or ask them to take away their alcohol and give them nothing to replace it in terms of coping mechanisms and strategies. You're setting them up to fail. Those are the people that end up jumping off a bridge.